well, to start with, climate change is probably the, the most global problem that the world is facing. And uh, this particular uh, COP, COP27 is extremely important because it provides a platform. Uh, everyone is looking to Egypt. Uh, the, the COP27 provides a platform to, for voicing the, 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 the voice of the, uh, the concerns of the global south in terms of finding solutions for climate problems. Climate problems are global, no doubt, and they're affecting all of us, but they're affecting us in different ways. And what Egypt is doing is providing a perspective which is extremely important uh, from, the, from the part of the world which is probably one of the most affected parts of the world, although it's one of the uh, parts of the world which haven't contributed much to, 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 the, to the current, to the, today's climate crisis. So this is an extremely important event, and uh, I'm, I'm glad that it's happening in Egypt. I'm honestly very proud of the of, of the work of our community, of our students, of our faculty, of our staff, uh, in various areas related to climate change, whether it's education or research, uh, research related to water uh, issues, research related, related to food sustainability, and so on and so forth, to so green construction, uh, the actual work that we do in our operations to minimize the, the, the carbon footprint, I'm, I'm truly proud of the work that we're contributing, but more important, I'm proud that our community is engaged and taking the issue of, the, of climate change seriously and trying to come up with solutions, solutions that are important for Egypt and for the rest of the world. Uh, so I'm happy that we are able to showcase our work, showcase the, the kind of work which is being done here in Egypt, but more importantly, we are actually contributing to providing solutions for climate, climate uh, issues. Uh, AUC's work in this area is not just specific to COP27. We started doing this work a long, long time ago, which is why we have so much to show in, in, in COP27. So COP27 gave us an opportunity to mobilize and to bring different researchers from different uh, fields to work together. And actually one of the most important things that we, we've done over the last years since we, formed, we, we, we started the Climate Change initi Initiative is that we were able to bring uh, researchers together to work together on coming up with solutions and some of the work is being presented here today. Um, so with our commitment to this field predates COP27. Of course, COP27 gave, gave us a, a, a boost and we intend to maximize and accentuate and amplify the work that we're doing in these areas, in various areas related to, to climate change. Already we're building on things that we currently do. We've been doing for a decade or even two decades in some cases. We have educational programs, very successful educational programs. We were pioneers in training the new researchers in the field of climate change and environmental sustainability that are actually now manning the, 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 the various jobs that are needed in the country and beyond the country. So the work we're doing is not new is, is, and is, is here to stay. That said, I hope that what happened in COP will enable us to think of more opportunities, of more possibilities in the future. In fact, already we've seen examples of, of researchers coming together from multiple disciplines and coming up with, with, with solutions. So hopefully COP will give us an added momentum and that which we will hopefully will be able to sustain even beyond what we are currently doing and do, uh, do even more. Climate change is a, is a problem that affects the whole world but it affects the world in different parts of the world in different ways. And we really need to bring, we need to come up to customize the solutions that we can imagine uh, related to climate change, to customize the solutions so they're applicable, they're sustainable in, in, in specific locales. Uh, so um, uh, what we will do, what we're doing, we're educating. We're educating using the highest international standards. And we're also bringing, and this is something that AEC has done in its uh, 100 years uh, history, we're bringing the most developments, we're keeping up to date with developments in, 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 in various fields and bringing them to campus so that we can, we can, we can update uh, our, our, our programmatic offerings in ways that are relevant in the current environment in which we live. Uh, so we're, we're doing, uh, we, we are committed to education, to cutting edge education in this field. We're committing to do it, committed, in, committed to doing research one of the biggest boosts for research is that is, is when you see that the research you're doing has an effect. And in fact, we do. Our researchers are doing, are making interventions, not just at the, at the lab level and not just at the benchmark and in building prototypes, but in some cases they're commercializing the, the, the work that they're doing and taking it to the market and applying it in the market. So again, we were committed to doing research. We're committed to reducing our own carbon footprint 
putting our waste where our mouth is. Hopefully before long we'll remove the use of plastic bottles from campus, uh, but many more, many more meaningful initiatives. And we're also committed to serving our communities, to intervening whenever we can.